All right, we're going to be looking at specific types of cells. So previously we learned about the different types of organelles. Organelles it sounds like have many organs. So in our body we have organs, but a cell has many things that are inside, so we call them organelles. It's kind of like a cute way to say organs. And many of those organelles have specific jobs that they're doing. But we know since we are not bacteria cells, if I look at my body, I have maybe hundreds of different types of cells that do different types of jobs. I have skin cells, I have heart cells, I have pancreas cells, I have cells in the lens of my eye, I have all kinds of cells, and each one is doing a slightly different type of job. So uh, rather than listing all 200 of them, let's pick a few really famous ones that are easily recognizable by their shape and then figure out exactly what they're actually doing. One specific type of special cell is, and unfortunately it has a very uh, long name, and for some reason I forgot to put it on here, but I'm going to spell it out for you. These cells right here that have these little uh, folds, they look like tiny little hairs, and I guess they're identified as tiny little hairs, but really it's the cell membrane is folded uh, thousands of times thousands of times, and so these cells right here, so this cell that I'm outlining here, is called a ciliated epithelial cell. See if you can spell that. Ciliated is C-I-L-I-A-T-E-D, epithelial, E-P-I-T-H-E-L-I-A-L, -E epithelial cell. And these cells right here, the purpose of them is actually to help you remove dust and mucus from your breathing tubes. So here's a little guy coughing right here. And uh, these little hairs create a lot of surface area for trapping a lot of the dust and mucus there. And they actually beat, they're beating, and they actually move to push the mucus up out because you don't want this getting into the, the deep parts of your lungs. And it actually brings it up to the throat so you can actually swallow it or cough it out. You all have experienced being sick and that wet sound when you're coughing and then that stuff comes out and uh, you can either spit it out or you can swallow it both are pretty nasty this type of cell right here this tiny little thing i'm outlining it this is a separate cell from the ones that are next to it this is called a goblet cell and these cells actually secrete the mucus that gets secreted that get basically sent out here and then they get they start to cover the actual lining of the cilia here. So these are very two kinds of specialized cells, the goblet cells and the ciliated epithelial cells. Cilia meaning the tiny folds and hairs. Okay, other types of special cells. This is a root hair cell. Also, you can see the same idea here. Like it's, uh, it's an extension of the cell wall and the cell membrane. This is a root hair cell and it's located down here in the roots of a lot of plant cells and the whole point of this extension out here is to create more area, we say more surface area to actually absorb water. You're going to see this a lot in biology where uh, walls are folded in such a way that they actually help to increase the surface area just for greater contact, more water, more things can be absorbed. Those are little water molecules that just showed up right there. Another type is a nerve cell. Nerve cells are very easy to spot uh, in a diagram form, but in real life, they're super, all of these things are super duper tiny. Nerve cells are really, really long, and they help to send information from one place to another. If someone pokes your finger with a pin, you can sense the pain because that information is sent through your nerve cells to your spinal cord and up to your brain, and then your brain sends information back to you that makes you feel pain and go, yikes, and then pull your finger away, okay? This is a nice cushion that you can buy here in Tokyo. Uh, it's called the donut cushion. It's fun and it also helps out if you have back problems and other issues. Just kidding. This is actually, but I do own a pillow that looks like this, by the way. This is what a red blood cell looks like. Red blood cell and uh, pretty neat, just circular little things that are flowing through. You can see these under a microscope really, really clearly. Uh, they're really small much smaller than some of these other cells that we're pointing out. And one thing that's special about red blood cells is that they don't actually have a nucleus. A nucleus is the thing in the center of the cell that contains all the genetic information. Uh, red blood cells don't have that. And uh, it actually helps to carry oxygen around the body, which is really, really cool. So those are the main cells that you need to focus on. You're going to see a lot of other different 
types of cells. A special word, if you want to write it down, try to spell it, is differentiated. All of these cells are different in a specific way, so we say they are differentiated. See if you can identify some of these cells here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are all examples of specialized cells. So pause the video here before I give you all the answers. And A, we're looking at, well, that's something that we saw on the previous slide, a really a, a kid-friendly drawn version of a ciliated epithelial cell we can see over here. Uh, B, we're probably looking at uh, some kind of specific white blood cell to help fight off disease, white blood cell. C is not an actual image, but this is more a drawing representation of what a sperm cell looks like. Sperm cells, by the way, are the smallest human cells um, that exist in the body. Uh, this is what a nerve fiber looks like. The special thing about these nerve fibers is that they're very, very long, and each one has many nuclei within the same thing without any boundaries or separation. So we're looking at that. E, you can see by these long parts that are sticking out here, we're looking at nerve cells. F, there's that cushion I was talking about. And really, these are red blood cells. And then G is the good old root hair cell. So those are a few specialized cells, or we also call them differentiated cells. See what other types of differentiated cells you can identify out there. Okay, have a good day.